Hey guys and gals and welcome to another video about Unity from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoy or learn something about physics, materials, or Unity in general, then consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity 3D coding, and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So a user on YouTube was, um asking how to get rid of the ice slide effect which is actually a really good name for it that's when your character goes running he keeps sliding until that happens and so yeah the reason for that is really mostly because the um i don't have the script open um but basic basically the code really isn't the perfect player movement script it would be more apt for vehicle physics i would have to say due to due to the way um just due to the way it's coded it's it's not perfect for um character movements it could it could be edited for it for sure it's definitely a starting point and it's an easy way to get your character to move and to learn some more about coding at the same time but how do we how do we fix that ice slide effect how do we make it so our player actually moves without without losing all that or without um without all that extra inertia keeping us going when we want to switch directions so one thing i thought of very quickly was way 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 back when i created my very first few videos on unity one of my first few tutorials was on physics text or physics materials sorry so um under the, my materials folder, I've created a folder called physics, since it's called a physics material under Unity. And then you just right click, create physics material, and give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, non slippery. You can call it glue, you can call it anything you want. And so you get some you get some uh values you can change here dynamic friction static friction bounciness blah 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 now at first this doesn't really mean a lot to really anybody i mean you can make some general sense of it okay friction bounciness combine them okay yeah i can kind of understand that but if you click on the blue help book of course it's unity's documentation is the best in the business let me see if i can get this window over here I always forget to hide my bookmarks bar. I don't want you guys to see what I'm bookmarking. So yeah, this tells you here what everything is um what everything is trying to do. So dynamic friction the friction used when already moving a value of zero feels like ice a value of one will make it come to a rest very quickly unless a lot of force pushes the object static friction the friction used when an object is laying still on a surface so we probably want a little bit of both a value of zero feels like ice a value of one will make it very hard to get the object moving so we're gonna have to play with both those values definitely we don't want any bounciness Friction combine, however, you can definitely play with um, how the friction of two colliding objects is combined. So that would be, say, the difference between um, our plane, like your level, versus our character, our capsule. Yeah, they can they can have different effects. So you just got it's it's only four values. It doesn't take much to play with them. I don't want to get into explaining them too too much. So let's let's just test out this this stock one here. Just the stock values it gives us. So we got our player object, and that has our player movement script attached to it. So let's attach our our physics material to our player so we're just going to drag and drop it right on top we can do just as usual we can do it right in the uh, scene editor window and drop it right on top now our um now our player has a physics material right here you can see it under the capsule collider um i believe even if i reset this 0.52 yeah no by default it should have a none so you can also just uh, under material you can always select like that obviously when you have a large project going so let's see how that affects our our player so let's see 
Nope, he's still sliding around. So let's give him let's give him a bunch of friction, see what happens. So let's bump it up to a full value of one and see what happens. So we'll let that update. Perfect. And we'll try again. Nope. It's even worse. It, it did. He is definitely changing directions easier, but we're still sliding around, especially when we have to run. So I think this might have to do more with the tweaking of our values. I mean, you can see if I walk, I'm tapping the button here now, and then stop. He stops pretty darn fast. So it, it feels like a like a normal game, but he's it's still sliding around. If I go and let go. He's still sliding pretty far, not as far as before, but pretty far. Again, we can try friction um, combined to say multiply. We can give that a try. I don't think it'll do anything. No, because we don't have a physics material on our plane. So let's create another physics material just for testing purposes. So create physics material. I'm gonna call this glue. I'm going to attach it to our plane, which I believe, yep, that's our playing surface. And I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to give it full friction and average out the friction combined. Let's see what that does now. Absolutely nothing. Let's try a few different values here. Let's try multiply, multiply or maximum. Sorry, I can't quite remember. Yeah, we want multiply, then it multiplies the two values. So multiply on that one, multiply on that one, all right. So we got the highest amount of friction on both of them, yet he's still sliding around. So this either has to do with the code, it has to do with our inspector values, and that's about it, because otherwise everything else is fixed. He's um. Our little player is, is able to start and stop a lot easier now. I can always double check that by removing the materials. And we can see... Maybe it didn't have as much effect as I thought. Either way, let's try playing with some of our values. So I've got no no physics materials on it right now, but uh, we can, whoops, I guess I don't want it maximized. We'll just play with it down here. So it's obviously, just like that. So when I let go, he still slides a little ways. So we could we could try upping the rigid body drag too. Could try value of one. Let's see how that adjusts it. Now he really has a hard time going. I want to let go. He stops. But now he has a hard time moving. Now when we run, it's it's half decent. But it still slides a little bit. But yeah, like you can play with the drag values too, right? You can give them a drag value of two. Whoops. Those are never saved, of course. So now he really has a hard time going and he stops basically immediately, even when we're running. So it really, I think it is, it's a matter of um, tweaking the values for one and possibly rewriting this script to um to 
to be more of a player control script. I'll, I'll try to update an updated video when I have the time, but that's all I can really suggest at the moment. And I'm just quite busy with the project. Um, try playing with some physics materials. There's, there's so many different combinations. Um, look at one of my old videos. I'll, I'll make a link to it in the description if I remember. It's, uh, I called it physics or something in the Unity Zero to Hero uh, series and basically I showed how you can use physics materials to make objects slide or not slide off each other and such so yeah a large part of it also has to do with the rigid body component the, the mass the drag the angular drag um, search up what all those mean I mean obviously a player with a lot higher mass if I bump it up to say 10,000 with no drag you can see he ain't going anywhere fast he is basically stuck because he's so heavy now if we change it to say 10 we have similar results to before because the mass is just so darn much if we bring it back down to one now he's moving again if we try something like three is moving ever so slightly so it's all so much of it is tweaking values and once you get the right combination um once you get the right combination in there then you'll be you'll be much better off So you can see he's walking too slowly there so whoops maybe I want to turn the walk acceleration back up a bit so that's that's a lot more stable there and then when I let go he slides a little bit but not much so that's where maybe some physics materials or maybe a little more drag maybe one and a quarter yeah he stops more or less pretty much instantly so a lot of it's tweaking values really um and yeah angular drag is like basically again that has more to do with vehicles but when you're like sliding around a corner how much he's gonna stop or how fast he's gonna stop so yeah a lot of it really um has to do with tweaking values really in my opinion so yeah play with some physics materials play with some values um i really don't intend on whoops on going too too much further with this there's lots of information on unity stuff um uh yeah i would suggest looking some other some other tutorials up on youtube or whatever and even the uh the unity manual the unity forums um even using unity's um stock player control stuff wherever the heck it is try try unity stock uh, character controller and see what you can come up with i mean this is all coded the way i did i don't even remember anymore how i coded it it's not an ideal way to run and walk as far as I'm just looking at it because we're adding relative force constantly to our rigid body so yeah a lot of it for this script specifically it's going to be all about tweaking the rigid body um values in my opinion and you can tweak them through code or through the editor obviously so that's what i would suggest or you can um you can you can try doing some more um math in here like times time time dot delta time and see what that does So that we'll multiply it by the change in time. No, I think he still has a value of 10,000. Yep. So 
now it's broken forward and backwards somehow. Is it because of my glue material? Nope. Odd. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, probably wrong place is what it is. Some of it could have to do with the most look script too. I mean, that's not perfect by any means. A lot of that was taught to me just from other YouTube tutorials. So you're taking any errors that they may have combined with errors that I may have added on. Um, yeah, time to adult time apparently has completely destroyed any ability to go forward and backwards. But yeah, that's that's basically what I have to say. Since we're using a rigid body add relative force um, statement to move our character, try tweaking the rigid body values. I'm sure you can come up with something workable. Otherwise, Unity has a great character controller um, and there's lots of other great scripts out there. This is more just an intro to coding and understanding how some things in Unity work. I would, um, I would look up some other some other material. Um, I don't intend to take this too much further, at least not at the moment. So, hopefully that helps you. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. Hopefully that gives you some ideas, though. Um, like I said, I'm just quite quite busy on a project right now, hence why I haven't been uploading so many videos. So, anyways. Thanks everybody for watching this call for help video. If you enjoyed it or learned something, consider liking it and consider subscribing for regular updates. We're on Twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech and Facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page. If you dislike this video for some reason, instead of leaving with a thumbs down, instead please leave a comment or email us at info at blendertech.com about what you did not like so we can continually improve our videos. By the way, I had Google um, change my um, Google Plus profile from my personal profile to my business Blender Tech profile and I guess that means that I am no longer known as Derek on YouTube I'm now known as blender tech so don't be confused by that that's just Google's way of ruining YouTube in my opinion we'll see if it's an advantage or disadvantage to me but anyways um that is all for now we will see you guys next time